Hi, this is Next DRBD MC Screencast. My name is My name is Rust Oliverins and I work for Ring Bit HA Solutions. This time I will load an existing and running cluster. Let's start. I'll connect to a random production server. Let me think. Okay, let's take this one. I will enter the password. Let me do this outside of this video. This is Debian Lenny. That's good. Here you can see what software is installed. DRBD837, pacemaker with heartbeat. Carousing is not installed, but it could be instead of the heartbeat. Let me add the second host. Also Debian Lenny. There is a skip button and this is for people that use Pacemaker without DRBD for some strange reason. I know this is confusing, but this is to punish people that don't have DRBD. But seriously though, this is just a workaround for now, because before it wasn't intended to be used without DRBD, but now it is. The name of the cluster could be anything really. Here we have an existing config file, I will not touch it because somebody would kill me. Oh, well, I only changed this to be editable. I could uh, remove some network leaks, add them. I can enable the OPD. I could enable MGMTD for whatever reason it is used. But unless I press this override HB config button, nothing will be overwritten. By the way, this cluster was created by some other means than DRBDMC, probably by some command line tools. Creating it with DRBDMC in the first place would be clearly vastly superior way, but I may be biased. Here you can see a bunch of services here. I can zoom out and zoom in. I'll hide this panel. We have these two nodes with some names that you can see anyway on YouTube. Let's call them yellow and blue computers. And they are in some orange company. You can see services that are running the blue ones on the blue computer and yellow ones on the yellow computer. Some services are gray. Uh, they are stopped. Or they are just they have constraints that prevent them to run anywhere. It looks like a misconfiguration if you ask me. If you right click on some service, you can perform some tasks like stopping and migrating. I will show you this, but this is a production server, so let's be careful. There are actually real people behind these rectangles working happily, so let's not disturb them. So if I would do this, they would freak out and come banging on the door screaming. And that would totally spoil the screencast. In order to be safe, I'll go to read-only mode. In read-only mode, everything is disabled. Mm, but the uh, viewing of the logs. Viewing logs is not considered dangerous. Oh, but there is nothing to show you. So there, let's go to operator mode. You can perform some operating tasks. 
but you can't edit uh, the services nor you can remove them or add new ones I'll be just caref careful and use administrator mode there's also an advanced mode and in advanced mode there are many more fields many more options I don't know if you notice this so watch the scroll bar don't blink when I press advanced mode there are more options one thing I always forget to show is uh, there's nice online help as you hover over the options in previous screencast I've showed you how going over migrate menu item would show you that the service would migrate they might have not seemed to be very impressive but if you have something more complicated, it can be a live server. I bet you don't know what would happen if I would stop this IP address uh, service. This blinking shows you in one glance that some services would stop. You can also read the yellow tooltip if you want to know this more precisely if I migrate it from the yellow com computer to the blue one you can also see that one of the services would migrate from blue to yellow the one to the left that might not be obvious if you just look at the hundred lines of configuration files but here you can see it let's look at some services here is a drbd it's primary on the blue computer and secondary on the yellow computer it is started before this virtual domain that is running on the blue computer it can even start a VNC viewer and this works also on Windows <clears throat> that was pacemaker view here is also the RBD view also with online help and everything normally you don't need to do much here everything's configured in the pacemaker only if something goes wrong you may want to come here and finally there's a virtual manager view here we can see all, all our virtual machines they are defined on both nodes three of them are running let's click on one of them here you can again configure many things I can add a disk well, I could go on, but I'm going to randomly stop here. Thank you very much.